Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Ocarina of Time Fun Facts and Trivia video. That's a mouthful. Anyways, today we are going to be going to Kakariko Village. But before that, we have to learn Zelda's Lullaby. And meet Impa of the Sheikas. Which the Sheikas are a really interesting tribe. Um, and they are actually considered themselves a separate race, as you'll find out later whenever I'm talking about the sages individually. Um, but anyways, I kind of want to just touch base on the Sheikah eye symbol, which you see all over the place. Uh, all the gossip stones in Ocarina Time have the Sheikah symbol. Uh, the lens of truth is the Sheikah symbol. Actually, if you go back to A Link to the Past, Aghanim, the main antagonist of that game, actually wears a modified version of the Sheikah symbol. And also, if you go further up in time, um, Twilight Princess has that symbol everywhere as well. The Howling Stones have the symbol on them, almost as if they were Gossip Stones. There is also Minna's Helmet, which has an eye symbol on it, but that is actually closer to Majora's Mask which I will get into that later, you know, whenever I actually play Majora's Mask, if I get there. So with all that being said, there are plenty of rumors around the internet that say that Aghanim was once a Sheikah and was cast out. There are also theories that the, um, the Twilight from Twilight Princess were actually Sheikah. Of course, this is all guesswork, nobody's really said for sure, but still pretty interesting. Alright, Kakariko Village. <laughs> I was gonna say, this is another one I said wrong. Uh, I actually used to call it Kokori Village, just like Kokori Forest. I know, it's dumb. But hey, I like I said, actually I found out I was not 9, I was 11. So maybe I don't have as much leeway as I thought I did. Deku Nut. Alright, here we go. Something here about Hyrule Field real quick. If you look at the bottom right hand corner at the map, I don't know if you see this, but there is a smiley face there. Don't know for sure if he meant that to be there, but it's there, and it's actually kind of funny. Kakarika Village. Okay. I am actually going to go ahead and collect all the chickens in Kakariko Village, which I'm sure you don't want to hear me commentate on. So please, enjoy this time lapse. Let's see what I get for all my hard work. We got a bottle! Alright! And it's fine glass, too. Here's another glitch if you want to know more about it. Um, there is a glitch that you can actually have as many bottles as you want. It's the item duplication glitch which is kind of crazy. I'll put a video here for you guys. This thing is, I don't know, it's kind of a game breaker if you do it, but it's actually really cool and um, just shows some of the flaws of the game. 
it requires a special certain, you know, combination of trying to pick something up with your with your bottle and switching to another item real quick and you actually lose the item that you had before and have a new bottle. This is going to be kind of useful, I guess, if you have items you don't like to use, like Deku Nuts. Um, but, like, if you switch out your Ocarina for a bottle, you're kind of screwed. What's going on? Explosions! That was uncalled for. Let's see what's down here. The royal family's tomb. And now you get to see me not being able to hit these bats, because I am lousy with the slingshot. Alright, there's one. No, no. There we go. Three. One more. Come on. And miss. Miss. Another miss. Come on. Seriously. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I love how Link has to make a 360 just to get back to the door. I have no idea what he's looking at there, either. Ooh, creepy area. Yes, I am purposefully hurting myself. Uh, going straight for the door is actually the only way that I know of to completely avoid the re-deads. Which I hate the re-deads. Here's something else while on the subject of re-deads. Uh, as they are now, re-deads are actually supposed to be magical golems. They're, they're not human, they're not actually zombies. But Shigeru Miyamoto initially meant for them to be real zombies. I don't know, maybe they thought that it wouldn't be PG enough if the villagers or the, the people in Hyrule Town actually died. I guess because there are other things too where if you um, you know do the beta quest or other beta things and try and hack into what the the programmers had in the game before you'll see that all the villagers used to be inside of Kakariko village after I say villagers all the people of Hyrule town were in Kakariko village after Ganon took over but they changed it afterwards, I guess maybe to make it seem more like they were, um, they were actually dead? I don't know. It's just all kind of weird. They never truly explained any of that, so... What can you do? And I'm sure you knew that. You have to have known that, that the Sun Song causes re-deads to freeze. If you didn't know that, then you really need to keep watching these videos. All right, so now that's nighttime and I can I can actually get past that kid. I'm going to get the Hyrule Shield, which yes, you can get the Hyrule Shield before you go up to Death Mountain for free. Something I just want to point out that any time you see flowers in, in front of a grave in Ocarina of Time, that means there's something down there for sure, certain. It's a requirement. All right, we got the Hylian Shield. Something I want to point out about the Hylian shield right now. Um, if you look at it, you have the Triforce, a bird that holds up the Triforce, and a golden triangle that he sits on. Now, Shigeru Miyamoto has actually said that this is completely not true, but I'm going to tell you anyways. A lot of people think that that bottom, that bottom triangle is actually a fourth Triforce piece. Which I guess would be a quad force. Anyways, they say that the bird is actually bringing it to the Triforce. I don't know. Kind of weird. 
Uh, I do believe that they actually took that out completely in future versions of the game to prevent confusion. But, mm, it's interesting nonetheless. And now I am backtracking. Um, I think Kira was looking for a spot to put the bugs, but I think I kind of didn't get it. No, no, I'm just walking lonely in the rain. Oh well. Anyways, while I'm at it, I might as well talk about the bug glitch bug. I don't know. It's just a little... A little workaround. Um, if you've got bugs in your bottle and you have more than one bottle, if you release the bugs, three bugs will come out. And what will happen is if you can catch one bug in one bottle and then catch another bug in a second bottle, you've actually doubled the number of bugs that you have. Which is not really terribly useful, but it's something. Um, so basically, you can have infinite bugs for whatever reason that you want bugs for. So, and of course, the next time that you open up the bottle, you'll have three new bugs. I just don't think they uh, thought that one out too well. Alright, going up to Death Mountain in the middle of the night. Alright, so everybody knows the sh the soldier wants the Keaton's mask. Which, I mean, you can do that whenever you're doing the, uh, the mask subquest. Um, what you may not know is that if you refuse to give him the Keaton mask while you're wearing it, he will actually close the gate. And what's funny is that if he closes that gate, whenever you are an adult, it is still closed. So you will not be able to get to Death Mountain unless you go a separate way. So, just kind of a funny easter eggy kind of thing, but, you know. I have a proper shield. Yes, and I got it for free! So I do not need your stinky deal. No, I, I am, I'm good. I'm good to go. And yes, I just got done talking about this, um, this mask here. Which, I may or may not actually go through the whole mask subquest thing, I don't know. I was thinking about getting some feedback on whether or not y'all would like me to actually do those separately. I'm kind of trying to focus this video on being from point A to point B, and then just picking up things along the way and just sticking them in the video. All right, we're at Death Mountain Trail. It is a little bit um, depressing leaving this video like this in the middle of the night. So let's make it daytime with our new song. All right. So now that we got a little bit more lively music playing, this is a perfect time to exit this video. Next time we'll be going to Goron City. So, and I'm sure I'll find something to talk about. I don't know what I've got to talk about yet, so we'll see. Alright, on to the awesome subscriber section. This video's sub awesome subscriber is Down Phoenix. Now, normally I would have you go check out their channel, which I'll go ahead and let you do that if you click on the click to, su click to subscribe to their channel button. But, instead of that, I want to direct you to his forum that he created. Um, and that is rejectedgamers.com. I recommend you go there if you're, you know, if you're a YouTuber like I am. And you just kind of want to show other people your videos, gain some new friends. I highly recommend it. Well, that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.